Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It is free and it is easy. It is the subscribe button that you see that's right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns a lighter gray, you are in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It is called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase, and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I'm thanking everyone in advance for the support of the growth of this channel simply by subscribing, making sure to ring that bell, and not forgetting to do the thumbs up. All right, before we start, I want to make sure that everybody knows my channel is about information. We do informative videos here where we focus on the brands, the products, and of course the deals. And I always find with Ipsy, I am always getting the best bang for my buck with brands that I know, as well as brands that I'm being introduced to. So if that sounds interesting to you, I really hope that you will join us here. It's free, subscribe, and be part of the True Wants community where we share in the comments solely about the brands, the products, and the deals, all right? So this is a box that is the BoxyCharm box. This is now the full-size version of Ipsy and we get five full-size products in here and with this you can also add to your box what they call the Beauty Boost. That is a prepaid $15 that you can add to your subscription and it gives you a fourth choice option in your box but that line is very different than the products you will see in the regular Ipsy. They're usually higher end brands and you also get a choice for it. They always give a little sneak peek on, with a little question mark on it, on their uh, Instagram early in the month of what the beauty boost is going to be. And then it's up to us to guess kind of what it is. And that's, we shared uh, that video on this channel as well, which makes this community so amazing. But what I want to share with you is that if the beauty boost is not something of your interest, you could untick it and then choose something else. So I did that this time around, and I'm going to share with you that. And when we get to that on uh, this video, I also have an item in here that Ipsy chose for me, even though my beauty quiz is light medium as my skin tone, they chose something for me in a medium shade that I would have preferred a lighter shade. So in my glam bag, where I always seem to get an opportunity with a free gift with purchase, if I purchase a certain amount of add-ons, majority of my add-ons will be in my glam bag. But I did pull out of my stash some other ones that I have from drugstore as well as higher end to do a little swatch comparison of some colors. So we'll do that at the end of this video as well. So let's get started with what is in my second paid for box. I have two paid for accounts so that when it is an icon month, I only upgrade one of my boxes so that I get an icon and a BoxyCharm box during those months. So I'm treating myself during the off months, which are the other two months, because the icon is more like a quarterly box. I get a bonus box with five full-size products. That's how I look at it. So this time around, we have starting with, and I already filmed my first box arrived, and I think that's already up. And this channel also gets PR. So that is up as well. So I'll leave those two videos also in the comments, in the, sorry, in the description box down below. So you can watch that and be up to date with everything that I've had the opportunity to review and share. We also do spoilers on this channel because like you, I'm a paying customer. So I'm always interested to know a little bit more. So if I have to do some research, that's if something's going to be in the choice section, I want to try to make the best choices. And you guys are enjoying those videos as well. So starting with the first item that I actually got in my PR box, so I've had the opportunity to try it and I will go through that with you as well. It is from this brand that is called BYROE. I'm just gonna put up here for now and then I will show you some of the ingredients that are on the box because that I think is important to know as well. So this one here comes in this beautiful container and if you're like me, we've had the opportunity with BoxyCharm to get in a previous box 
before they were part of Ipsy, one that was in a green formula. The green formula was a lot thicker. It reminded me more of the Fenty, which I just finished. Here's my, my Fenty that I just finished. This was amazing. We got this in the icon box. I do have the second one. So I'm going to definitely, I don't even know if this was in the icon box or if this was a choice. I don't remember. I apologize. But as you can see here, I left a little bit in the bottle so that I'd be able to show you how thick, I'm hoping the camera picks all this up, how thicker the consistency is of this one. And to me, that sort of reminded me of the green version that this brand came out with was the first time I've had the opportunity to try that product. This one is more like a watery consistency. Now, the one that was in green, when I looked it up, it was more for drier skin. This one they're saying is more for the combo type of skin. But let's read up a little bit about this. But it is a water consistency. There is a scent to this. To me, it's a little perfumey, but it does dissipate. So this one is called the Pro Berry Pore Refining Toner. They also had on Ipsy's website a discount code. So if you're not part of Ipsy, you can still watch this channel so you can learn about products. And then you will be able to see also uh, the discounts you'll be able to use on the website of the actual brand. The code this month is going to be IPSY35, and that will get us 35% off a discount on any order. There's obviously exclusions will apply, but it is for the website of the BYROE. Now this on its own is a $58 value. And I share with you all the time that in this box, we get to choose three items. You get to choose a fourth if you have the Beauty Boost. But the power picks are is what Ipsy chooses for us. Now, the reason they call it power picks is they're sharing that one or even both of the power picks will be more than covering the price of the box. And the box runs around that $30 value. For me, I just signed up for the full year. I went through all of that with you in the previous videos. So to me, this box is only costing me $25. So I'm always going to share with you what the cost is going to be around. So this is around a $30 box if you're on a month to month. So now we have this item on its own is $58 and it's 100 mil and they classify it as a toner, but it's a clarifying toner. And it's like a reset button for your face to help unclog your pores, say bye bye to impurities and telling, and telling excess oil to chill out. And the best part, your skin feels fresh and hydrated, but never stripped. After cleansing, you apply a few drops of the toner. They're suggesting to a cotton pad. I put it directly on my hands and pat it in so I don't waste any of this because this is a $58 toner and gently sweep over your face and neck. Now BYROE combines clinically tested salad inspired ingredients with high performance actives in a skin friendly formula that also is inclusive. That means it's good for all skin tones and types because we should always put our skin first and I agree with that. And the best part about boxes is you do get skincare mixed with makeup when it comes to Ipsy. We also sometimes get perfumes and nail care, hair care, and a lot of others. But really it is a majority of the boxes that I have unboxed, majority is makeup and skincare. And since I've been getting boxes, I was always good with skincare, but because I've had the opportunity through these boxes to get skincare for like seven or eight dollars when you divide up how many items are in a box based on what you pay for the whole box, your skin will love you. And I'm telling you, my skin has changed dramatically because I have been upping my game, not based on how expensive something is or what I can afford to spend on myself. You're able to treat yourself with the luxury of these boxes because you're paying a fraction of the price for some really, really great brands with really great ingredients. So let me just show you the box and then we'll go on to the next item. So on here are some ingredients and I know a lot of people sometimes have allergies. So I always like to make sure to put this up to the camera because when I used to film with myself in the, in, you know, in person, I can share with you, you know, about the product that I had on my face or that I tried, but I was never able to go through all of the ingredient lists. And I think that is really important. And so that's why I changed how I film because it really isn't about me. It is really about the brands, the products and the deals and a little bit about me where I can share, you know, a little bit about my idea of the products, but we are a community here. So your voice is just as strong in the, in the, in the uh, comment section down below, but it has to solely be about the brands, the products and the deals. So this one here is, the next one is from Seattle London, and this was the second power pick. And this is the one that is a vitamin boost plumping barrier. 
and it is a primer. They also have a code on this one as well. And again, I'll put this one up to, let me just do it right now. I don't think, I don't know how much the camera can pick it up when it's like that, when there's so much reflection on it. I apologize for that. But this one here comes in this beautiful tube. And on this tube, it says here, there's also a promo code if you're interested. It is Ciate 20, and that will get you 20% discount on the Ciate London website. This has a value of $28, which is pretty much the cost of the box. And this is also the secret to a fresh, radiant complexion. This Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer, obviously this little gem is all about the good stuff like niacinamide, peptides, probiotics, and hydrating moisture complex. Each ingredient works together to help reduce fine lines and leave your skin looking youthful and plump. They tell you to spread one pump over your cleanse and moisturized skin before applying your makeup. Now, Ciate London is a British beauty brand, and they they say that they're on trend, and they're saying they do innovative products from glow-getting highlighters to setting sprays and more. Through their products, they aim to make beauty uncomplicated and attainable for all and encourage others to express themselves through makeup. And they have a really strong relationship with Ipsy because I've had the opportunity to try so much from their brand. And this one is a brand that I do enjoy, and it is one that I love to be able to tell people about. Now, what I can tell you is with this one, I do open up everything prior to, to test a little bit of the products that I can to see if there's a scent or anything like that. And also to prime them besides taking off the excess packaging, because sometimes it takes a while for a product to come out from the pump because there is the actual component inside is an airless. So that means you'll see it like this. So when you take it, you're gonna to have to pump it a few times to get actual product out. So because I've already primed it, it's gonna come out right away. So do not be frustrated if when you get yours, you have to pump for a little bit because I did that off camera, all right? So that is this item here. And this is one that uh, it, when I put it on, it came out like a lotion, which I loved. But as soon as I put the heat from my hand to it, it immediately turned into almost like a serum-like. So this is a really, really beautiful product. Even if you don't wear makeup and you're just going outside, this will help give a barrier between your skin and the outside environment to be able to help keep your skin in, in a really better formula, a format for you not to end up getting, you know, all the, what they call free radicals, pollution and all that out there. So it leaves a beautiful finish to it. It is not sticky at all. It is just very, very hydrating. So really impressed with that. I've had other primers from them. Their watermelon one is a really good one as well. So that is my second item, but that is the power picks that they chose. Now we're gonna get into the ones that I chose for myself. And I'm really excited about this because I'm a mascara girl. I don't wear falsies. This one here is called the, uh, from Cali Ray. It is a come hell or high water mascara and it is in black. This on its own is a $24 full size mascara. It is a tubing mascara. It has seriously got your back. It's all about volume, curl and length that won't budge no matter what life throws at you. Plus it's got lash loving argon oil and an easy peasy roll off removal. Start at the base of your lashes and wiggle the wand as you comb upwards. Now Cali Ray blends makeup with wellness to create innovative concoctions, she says, with innocent ingredients. Now, if you're not familiar with Cali Ray, like I wasn't, but when I do the spoilers here, when I find out and they're official, I start going into the websites of the brands and I start getting a little bit more information on some of the spoiler items. And what I found out about Callie Ray is she was one of the founders, uh, there were a group of them, but she was one of them who was the creative director for, especially for products, uh, for Urban Decay. And she did that when she was 27 years old. And then of course they got bought out. And then um, I think it was Lori L that ended up picking them up. And then now she started this brand called Cali Ray. She is now 50 and she's all about making makeup and to enhance your features easy and being she believes more in spending more time outside so that is what her brand is all about so here you can see the before and afters of the actual mascara and then here is some more information that is on the box i'm going to do my best to get it up to the camera because i don't edit here i try to film as much information and prepare ahead of time so that i can just film it and then be able to watch it back when you guys are watching it. I'm watching it too for the first time. And that's why I'm able to respond to the comments so quickly for everyone that has their bell on. We're usually watching at the exact same time. 
And so that is all the information that is on here. And then I'm also going to um, show you the wand inside because I'm gonna be trying this because I'm so excited to have had the opportunity to get something from her brand. And I also got something from her brand from uh, the Trend Mood box, which is also a really fantastic, but that's a non-subscription box that I share on my channel. So I have her lip product. I, I was going to get over the holiday season because I'm very interested in her primer as well as her setting spray, but budget because I ended up paying for the full year ahead of time to lock in my prices for Ipsy. I wasn't able to spend a lot of dollars during, I spent enough during the holiday season, but I couldn't spend a little extra more than I wanted to this month because of that extra expense of, you know, signing up for the full year. So that is what the wand looks like. It looks more like a mixture of a brush formula as well as a spiky. So I'm very excited about this. And as they mentioned, it's tubing. And if you're not familiar with tubing mascaras, what is great about, what I like and don't like about tubing mascaras, just so you know, and you should share in the comments down below your thoughts on tubing. Tubing mascaras, what the whole concept is, is that it's a formula that wraps around your lashes so that when you are removing your makeup, it kind of removes where you kind of see like these black little tubes coming off. So it's, say, say it's very easy to remove it, usually with just some water. I always share with you, my best way to remove my eye makeup is always with an inexpensive brand that's called Garnier, with the one with the pink uh, top of it. I've been using that for many, many years. That's how I remove my, my eye makeup. And then I go in with uh, just a balm. Right now I'm using the one from Keys to remove that. I wipe that all off and then I go in with a second cleanse. However, with tubing mascara, I'm somebody that likes to do two to three coats, but with tubing mascara, I find you really don't have that luxury. You can go in usually once, and then you will get, a, a, I feel, a lot of length. You'll get a little bit of volume. And then if you try to go in a second time, you have to do it pretty quickly before it dries. Otherwise, I feel it just gets more clumpy. So that's been my with tubing mascaras. But like I, they, she said, what's great about them is they stay on all day. You won't get raccoon eyes and it's really easy to take off. The next one that we have here is from Seattle, London. Now, this one here, within my choices, I only had one color choice. And I would have chose for myself light, so I ended up having to pick that up in the add-ons, which is still a great deal because it was half price there. I only paid $12 for that in the add-ons, but this is normally a $24 value. This is comes in this really reflective box as well, so I'm just going to try my best to put whatever information I can from the box up here, and then we'll go through the product as well. But this is the one, yeah, there's too much reflection on this. What I will do is I will um, share with you my thoughts in reference to this type of product. And I will also share with you some other ones that I'm currently using uh, that I'm enjoying that I will share with you that information as well. So on here, this is the item that is inside and I will go through this as well. And again, it has reflective, a beautiful bow on the top of it and the, most of their packaging does. So this one here, again, they also have, which we mentioned that Ciate 20 for that 20% off if you wanna use it on their website. This is an under eye concealer and I'm a huge believer in this type of product and I'll share with you uh, a little bit more about it at the end of this video. We, it says, if you need a magic wand for your tired eyes, this under eye perfector is pretty close to it. It is packed with vitamin C to brighten and hyaluronic acid for a burst of hydration. This baby not only hides those pesky dark circles, but it also plays super nice with your makeup. It's a one swipe wonder that's sure to earn a permanent spot in your makeup bag. After your skincare, but before your concealer, you apply a thin layer of the product and lightly tap it under your eye. Then you can use a sponge or your ring finger to blend it out. So what I did was this has a safety uh, seal that's in here that's a little bit hard to uh, bring up, but I did bring it up on one of the sections here. Let me just see if I can find where I did it. There we go. This took me a little while to open up, so I'm going to take a scoop of this out at the end of this video so I can show you the difference of the colors of what I would per preferred. So I think for me, the one that is uh, in the light would have been a better match, but we'll go through that, like I said, at the end of the video, because also one of my add-ons that I had to do in this box because it wasn't available to me in my add-on selection um, my add-on selection in my glam bag. So I have that tier and it's also, it's from Tarte and it's also supposed to be an under eye concealer. Then we had the last options that I had. There was really nothing in that section that screamed at me. And as I shared with you, I have so many makeup brushes now. 
I really, I pretty much a lot of my storage area is just filled with makeup brushes. So it was really fantastic because makeup brushes at the beginning were very expensive. So when I started with Ipsy many, many years ago, it was an absolute find, but I was a diehard for my It Cosmetic brushes. I know a lot of girls that have larger channels get PR from BK Beauty, and they're saying that that's a really good brush line, but I've been getting great brushes through Ipsy from either their sales or having it as a choice item as well. And this one here is uh, this MOTD Cosmetics. And uh, like I mentioned, um, th they also have a code here that's really good. It's Ipsy 50 that will get you 50% off your order. Now, what I ended up picking was an eyeshadow set and I like the MOTD uh, brushes. I also like, I've had the opportunity to try a few of her uh, blushes that were stunning. So I'm really interested in this brand. So out of everything to choose from, I decided to choose something from the MOTD Cosmetics brand. So this was five set, a five set eyeshadow brush and it has a uh, $43 value and it came in a beautiful little sealed package here. So if it's something you're not going to use, it also will be great to have as a giveaway. And then these are the brushes here and we'll go through each one of them. This one here says whether it's your everyday eye or you want to do a smoky look, these ultra soft brushes are your perfect starter set for effortless application. The set will include five essential eye brushes, including a smudging brush, a blending brush, a packing brush, a crease brush, and a brow shaping brush. Anna will help you create the endless eye looks for your any occasion. Use the brushes to blend, smudge, and shape your eye look. Now, MOTD stands for Makeup of the Day, and their brushes support a beginner's journey to becoming a makeup artist and to inspire you to step outside of your comfort zone. Now this one here, there are no numbers on it, but they do have written on the barrel, which all of them are this beautiful green color, so they will definitely stand out. This one here is an eye-catching crease, it says, and this one here, there are two crease brushes in here. The second one here, it says this is a blending bestie, and you can see the difference between the two. So if you're not familiar how I, how I do my eye is I always start off with a packing brush, and this one here is their pigmented packing brush, and then they also have the one that says here, this is their uh, brow, and this has the angle as well as the spoolie. And then the final one here has this no fudge, just smudge. And that is this item here. So with all, how I really, I think everybody only needs a certain amount of brushes. This one here that says, uh, I'll show you how I, I do my makeup, which I've shared with you on a lot of my MOTD. I have videos that I call them MOTD, but it had nothing to do with this brand. This one here is a flat shader brush. So what you'll see if you look on this side angle here, this has a flat surface to it. So this is great to pack on your lid and put it on. So you will get the most dense color payoff when you use a packer brush, which is what this one is. The next one is this one here and this one is the crease this one yeah so what i end up doing is i use the one that's called the blending now this you can use for two ways because i have eyes that are small and there's a big difference between small eyes and hooded eyes hooded eyes to me are ones that are usually your your eyelid kind of disappears completely and you don't even see that you have a lid at all. My eyes are small. You can see a little bit of my lid. So what I end up doing to make my eyes look a little bit bigger, and I've shared this in those MOTD videos, is I go above with one of these type of brushes that are a little bit more, um, they call this the, the blending bestie. You can use this to blend as well, which I'll share with you at the end. But when I use this, you can see that there's more movement in the brush. So what I do is I go above where my actual real crease is to create the illusion that my crease or my transition is going to be up here as opposed to where my actual real crease is. And that's how I start using this brush. The next one that I would use is the one that's a little bit smaller. So it's kind of like a blending brush, but this I'm calling the crease brush. And the reason they do that is it's a little bit more densely packed. So when you're going in, do you see how it's not fluffing out as much as the other one? So you're able to go exactly where your crease is. And that's usually where I'll put a darker color to give my eye a little bit more definition to where it will look it's like it's more inset. So that is what I use this brush for. Then I have a brush that's similar to this, but a little bit bigger, and I call, they call it a pencil brush. Now the pencil brush looks very similar to this, but it's a little bit bigger. And that's what I use to take on the darker products, uh, the powder at the end, 
and just dot it on the outside of my and create that little V and then I will go back to the blending brush and blend it out. This is also great for under your eye. If you want to just get like an eyeliner look with your brush, with your eyeshadow as well as your uh, under your eye, that is what I feel this is great for. And they're calling it the no fudge, just smudge because you're smudging it on. So that is what it looks like here. So it still has some softness to it, but as you can see, it doesn't really move as much as the other ones did. So that is what that I use for. And then finally, we have this one here. Now this one you can use for your brow or you can use this for I would use it for if you have pots that have the liquid eyeliner these are great for that as well but what's great about these brushes especially for using them for your brows is it also is a denser packed and you're able to get it exactly where you want it so if you want to create little hairs you'll be able to do it with this brush and then if you're using it on your brows you can always use this spoolie to help pull out uh, not pull out uh, brush out your actual eyebrows afterwards so it actually doesn't make any area look too dense so i think those are five fantastic brushes if you're new to that the only one that i feel i'd be missing in here is the uh one that i like that is a little bit bigger that is a pencil brush now the next item in here was the beauty boost now with this one this one I ended up choosing for myself uh, instead of the one that came for everybody this month. It was a brow serum type from Anastasia of Beverly Hills that so many of you shared with me how fantastic that product is for you and how much you're enjoying it. And to get that for $15 was an absolute steal. As I shared with you in my other unboxing, I switched up my Beauty Boost, which is a fantastic new feature that they do within the Boost, because when I signed up for the Boost, before I even knew what it was, I was got it in before it was even launched, I put in that $15 to be able to get in. You didn't have any options. The Beauty Boost was the Beauty Boost. Now they made it a line of different choice items, which is fantastic, especially when you have two paid for boxes. So this one, what I chose for myself is from Verso. Now this is a really... Uh, expensive brand but their packaging is very very low key so when you'll get this you'll kind of be surprised at the packaging but when you see the results of the actual where they spend the money put it this way is within their ingredients that they put in and that's what really should be what it's all about but a lot of us are packaging you know suckers like me I love getting beautiful packaging but when you start getting into seeing results, you won't care about that that much. Now, this is a brand that is from Stockholm and is called Verso Skincare. And as I mentioned, I'm trying my best to get all the information up on the screen for you guys. And then inside here, like I mentioned, the packaging is very, very simple. This is a value of $130. And this I only have as an option, is one of the options by paying that extra $15. And that's why that sixth product is such a win for me with the Beauty Boost because I am getting brands in here like Fresh, like so many brands that are Kate Somerville that are so high end. So this one here is 30 mil and it is a face serum. Now this face serum is like a super boost of nourishment that is packed with retinol eight and it helps visibly firm and tighten your skin, giving you a healthy looking radiant glow and is gentle enough for even sensitive skin, making it the perfect introduction to the powerful benefits of Retin-8, which is a stabilized vitamin A complex that is eight times more effective than your standard retinol, yet half as irritative. So you won't get irritation like a lot of people do with retinol, but you will be able to get, I, I can't believe it. I'm When I read about this, I could not wait to try this. And you can use this morning and night. They say just pat a few drops into your cleansed skin. Now, Verso Skincare mission is to help you improve the health of your skin with effective, simple, and non-harmful products. All of their products include high quality ingredients that have verified by science and the concentrations that are documented to have effects on the skin all to help ensure a healthy looking complexion without unnecessary ingredients. So this again, I opened up prior to, here's the information that is on the back. I'm hoping I'm always getting it up to the camera. I pretty much do a good job. I just am always, I don't know until we go back. This also had a little priming to it so that I was be able to see what this product was all about. You can also test things off on the back of your wrist here to see if any ingredients are gonna affect you. And I always try to start with a, the first time that I try it, I'll do it on like one area, you know, closer to my jawline. But this is, you can take either a full pump or as you saw, I did like a quarter of a pump. You can actually choose how much you want to take out, which I like. 
and this feels very soothing to the skin. There was no scent on this to my recollection. I still don't. If there is, it's very small and it goes on more like a lotion, which I really prefer. So then I always share with you when it comes to skincare, you always start with your uh, an ingredient that is more like a water like so you would start with this before you would put this on but always wait for this to get completely absorbed into your skin before you move on to the next step and that's what I always say you go from the lightest consistency to the most heaviest so as I mentioned I did choose the add-on and I want to do a lot of little swatches for you guys here so that you'll be able to for if you're interested more about products and a little bit about the information that I have I'm happy that you're you're continuing to watch this one here uh, as I mentioned wasn't available in my glam bag add-on so I put it in here this only cost me three dollars and fifty cents which is a great way to try a product this is a corrector and they had it in a bunch of shades but the lightest shade was this one that was in peach now they're mentioning that this is a color corrector. So this will neutralize your dark under eyes and discoloration with the help of this creamy colored corrector. It is a long lasting full coverage that is packed with hyaluronic acid to help hydrate under your eye area. You swipe the wand directly onto your under eyes for the to help with the darkness. And again, you blend this with your fingers, a sponge or your brush. Now Tarte believes in breaking down beauty boundaries, shattering stereotypes and being kind. They believe in high performance and natural ingredients. And I got introduced to Tarte more than 20 years ago through QVC, where the actual owners used to go on. And she was just, just starting out. Now you can follow her like on, she has her own TikTok and she always gives you like behind the scenes information. But what was great about her was she was one of the first ones that introduced me to clean beauty. So this one I'm very curious about. And the reason I'm doing this last, and I'm gonna be able to swatch a few other products to be able to show you some color. So this one here is the one that they're calling Peach. Now with these type of products, you literally need one dot. So this little bit's gonna last for a while. And as you can see, when you blend it out, it will help with any discoloration and it will be the best thing that you will wanna do prior to starting with any of your makeup. So I put my primer all over my face and then I will put this under my eyes and then I will have this first before I even start with my foundation. And I choose to do my foundation step next and then I will put my concealer on if needed. This is also great to use if you wear no makeup and you just wanna go for a walk, take the dog out, whatever it is. You put your primer on so you have that environmental barrier and then you can put a little bit of this on under your eyes and that would be enough. And also if I have a little discoloration or any redness around my chin, around my nose, that is where I will use this type of corrector. So that is the one that is from Tarte. Now I'm gonna take this color here that they gave me, which was medium, and I have a little uh, stick here that I'm gonna just put in. It's just one of these type of scoopers that we get in a lot of products to put it in so that I'm not putting my fingers right into this, be able to take it out. And you really need very, very little of this. So I'm just gonna put this back up here and then you will see the color of the medium. Let me try to do it down here. So I'm just gonna put that over here. And then with this one here, I'll put a little bit more on the other side here that I can blend it out. So you can already see the difference where one is more of, I'm hoping the, cat, the lighting in here is good for you guys. You will be able to see that the other one has more of a peachy undertone where this one has more to me like a color that I would have more like a foundation. So even by spreading it out, you'll be able to see the difference of the colors here. You see what I mean? It's like, and it feels more like a foundation than a color corrector to me. So I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit and then really put my thoughts around it, but I kind of knew that the color would have been too dark for what I use this for. So I might end up using this more as a concealer, not a corrector. Now, the one where it all started me off was from Becca. And I ended up picking up a lot of these when I found out Becca was going out of business. And then Smashbox ended up picking up a couple of the items that were best sellers at Becca, like their highlighters and this product. And this is an under eye where I learned about my um, the brightening. So I have a lot of these that I already have. Uh, that I bought, like I said, when they went out of business. Now the new one, it will look like the same packaging, but it will say Smashbox and Becca on the lid. So this is the color here that I wanna share with you. That is the consistency, as you can see, like you literally need just to put your, dab your finger into it. 
And when you do, you will see the difference of the color correcting. So you'll see how bright this one is. So see the difference, that's the bright one. The next one we have is the one that is the lightest version that I just shared with you from Tarte. And then we have the one that is the medium from Seate London. So when the one comes in from, um, that we're gonna get in the add-ons from Seate London and Light, I'll compare the two on that video as well. So that is what I'm used to and that's what I'm trying to get back to. I also am a big fan of Catrice. This is the drugstore version. So when they came out with this, I was so hoping this would be the next winner. And for me, this was a little bit too creamy. The consistency of this, as you'll be able to see here, I'll put it up right beside the Becca one up here. It's closer to it, but it's this has more of a brightening effect to it. And it has a little bit more of a creamy formula. So if you want to play, this only costs, I think, $6 on Amazon. I'll try to link it down below for you guys. But I, one of my favorite foundations that I wear almost daily is, and I have so many foundations, but I always seem to gravitate towards the Catrice one. And that one's also only $10. And that's always in my description box down below. And so you can see that that one is closer to the Becca than anything that I've ever gotten. And then I have another one that I got on Amazon a long time ago that is from this brand that's called Skin Foods. And this is one that I really fell in love with when I found out that the Becca was no longer going to be around. But this one has more of a peach consistency to it. And what I like about this one is this was easy accessible to me from Amazon. And I also like K-Beauty. And this one had a little bit more coverage. So when the days when I need some more coverage, you can see how brightening this one is. So you have the one from Siat, from sorry, from Catrice that to me is the closest to Becca. Then the next one up that's also available, which I'll try to see if it's still available on Amazon, because this one has been lasting me. It was such a big pot, as you can see how how large this container was compared to these other containers. So this one I've been using for a long time, and it is the one that I take when I travel because I always try to travel with Miss my. my makeup and, and stuff that's not that expensive. So if anything spills, I don't get heartbroken. So that one here is the one that is from Skin Foods. These two I think are the closest to Becca. Becca and the one from Catrice, I think are more similar. The one from Tarte was the one that I just bought for $3.50 to try. And then we have, like I said, the darkest one that is from Seate London here, which I knew was gonna be way too dark, but like I said, I'll probably use it more like a concealer. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I don't always have the time in my videos to, to go through all this, but because this came on the weekend, I was able to sit down and uh, film for you guys. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit longer video and then pull out from my stash some of the items that are here. But like I said, for the first three and a half years that I've had this channel, you saw me in person. I played with makeup. I would put makeup on before. I would share with you makeup of the day videos. So if you haven't had the opportunity to watch a lot of my content and you're even interested in my makeup brushes, there's videos that if you just put in when you go to the search bar, you will be able to see when you're on, on YouTube, where my picture is in the name True Wants, if you click on that, a new set of features come up and one of them says videos. You could sit there and hit play all and you'll be able to catch up on my most recent videos or you can go to the search bar and on the search bar, you can simply type in makeup brushes or MOTD or anything like that and you will be able to get more information. You could do Ipsy, whatever you're interested in watching, you will be able to do that simply by the search bar. And like I said, I try to do more informative videos because that's what I was looking for. And like I mentioned, for the first three and a half years, I was always on screen and it was something that, uh, you know, was a lot of fun to do and, you know, getting dressed for the camera or getting dressed for the day. And we used to have a lot of meetings on Zoom because a lot of it was, you know, we started this within six months. We were, you know, all stuck at home from when I started my channel. So I was having to put makeup on every day, having to get dressed for Zoom meetings and all of that. And as my world has changed, I found it a lot easier to get more information sitting down this way. Periodically, if I have to share with you something, you know, I will definitely come on camera, but it was so important for me not to just be this personality on uh, YouTube because you got to meet me. I, I was on camera for three and a half years. You're still, if you got to meet me, you got to see me, you, you, you know what I look like, you know who I am, but this is an easier way for me to film and be able to be in an area in my home where I'm private 
and uh, it is an area where I can actually go through the products in more detail because I think that's what at this point it is all about. I've already shared with you, you know, how to put makeup on and what I did and all of that for three and a half years. But for this now started going into my fourth year, I decided to sit down. I got, I remember I got sick, boxes were piling up and I decided that I would film in this area so I would be isolated. And it ended up being more comfortable for me, more personable for me, and a way that I was able to actually share with you a lot more about the brands and the products, and of course, getting it at a deal, which is what it is at this point, because as I share with you at the beginning of the video, I know for myself personally, I have way more wants than needs. You know, if you have 10 pieces of makeup, you're pretty much covered, and you'll be covered for at least half a year. The fact that we can get the price of one cosmetic in a box and be able to treat yourself to try new things whereas before your budget might have been like mine where it was limited to how much I would spend on makeup and, and fragrances and fashion there was always a budget like that with this I'm able to not only explore new items I also got to meet people with similar interests to mine which is through the channel that I've been able to do that so I always thank you so much when you take the time to share in the comments not only that you're watching but also about your experience with certain brands and certain products, and of course, if it's skincare, that you take the time to also share your skin type, all right, as well. Because I can only share with you my experience as being someone that is, you know, a more mature skin, but I still have really good skin. And it's not about age when it comes to if you have more mature skin. It depends how much time you spent out in the sun or how much time you spent on your skincare and so on and so on and so forth. But I'm also still acne prone, so I have to be very careful too. So I'm still very cautious even with getting items at really discounted prices through the boxes. We're getting a lot of luxury brands and I would never have spent or been able to spend on five luxury products. I would buy like one, I'd go to the Lancome counter or I would go, you know, to, to the Bobbi Brown counter. And that's how I learned and how at that time, what was available to, available to me. But when QVC came around, where in Canada it was also called the shopping channel, I also got to introduce myself and learn more about the brands. So that when I was up at three o'clock in the morning doing overseas conference calls, I had to be awake. So I would start watching the QVC channels. And through watching those channels, I learned a lot as well. We also got to learn and try a lot from one brand. So when Ipsy comes out also with those one brand boxes, like this time around, there's going to be the edit. Uh, and that's going to be all glow recipe. You're going to have the opportunity to try so much from one brand for the cost of usually one product within that box. And that's what I used to love about the QVC uh, today specials and things like that. So I really grew my stash starting that way. And then when the boxes came around and I moved to the United States and had such access to this, because as my Canadian viewers know, you know, we end up paying $30 free ship here. But between the exchange and the Canadian dollar and then shipping it, you know, to Canada, it usually costs double. So for all the Canadians that have channels or, you know, people that don't have channels but are purchasing the Ipsy boxes, it's great that we have access to it when we live in Canada. However, we are paying usually double than what the Americans are. So you get a little spoiled here by living here. I definitely have. And I definitely have way more than I need or I want. And that is also why I have this huge, huge giveaway going on that hopefully you'll be able to watch those videos and enter. But that's what I wanted to share with you. Like I said, I knew this was going to be a long video. I had some time on the weekend to be able to go through some stuff and I wanted to make sure to share as much as I could in reference to this. So I always appreciate when you guys take the time out of your day to spend it with me and then taking the time to share in the comments because as I mentioned, I respond and read all of the comments and I always love when you guys share your experiences there too. And again, if you've watched this all the way to the end, you like when I leave a little hashtag so we can put it in so that we know that we've watched all the way to the end together. It will be TW, which is for true once, and it will be Ipsy Boxy 2. Uh, uh, in, uh, what could we say? Informative, put it that way. So then I'll know that this is a video that you watched all the way to the end. Once again, everybody, I hope everyone is enjoying their holiday season. Everybody, please continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all soon again in the next one. Take care, everybody, and bye for now.